Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Bike, with another video. Today, we are going to be talking about how to connect your phone to the Wildcom One. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I do content just like this every single week. So hit that subscribe button. You do not want to miss a video. So today, we're going to be talking about how to connect your phone to the Wildcom One. At a glance, it seems simple. You just get a USB hub, hook it up to your phone, and then hook it up to the Wildcom One. But this is where you are mistaken. You need a specific USB hub to activate the DeX operating system on your Samsung phone. So let's get it out the box. Out the box, typical, got your USB hub, and it has um, your charging cable, which is a USB-C to C. You have to provide your own brick, all right? And so once you plug that in, you just plug that into the wall, and then you would uh, plug up your HDMI to the back of this hub, and then plug in your USB on the side of it, and then you would sit your phone into the top of this thing right here. And then once you do that, it should pop up on your screen. You're already in DeX. This is DeX. You're already in DeX. And so what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom left hand corner. Click that with your stylus and then all of your applications will pop up. Now today I, I chose to use Sketchbook Pro, right? So whatever drawing application you have on your phone, just pop that open, hit that, pop that open, and then it's gonna open up and then you can start drawing. Now I tested out this thing and it surprisingly runs smooth. It runs very smooth. Um, I was very surprised just how this thing works. And I wanted to check and see how many uh, layers that I could actually get. Cause you know, Sketchbook Pro tells you, uh, depending on your, how high the resolution is, it, it tells you how many layers that it can go without actually crashing out. And right here we see 433. So I can go 433 levels. I mean, uh, 433 um, layers without this thing crashing. That is amazing. Now, I don't know if it's going to be, you know, lagging out. You know what I'm saying? We have to test that a little bit later, but that's 433 layers. If it does 100 layers, like that's amazing, right? That's amazing. So this thing here is, I'm going to be playing around with it. I'm going to be making a few more videos on it as far as what application runs the best um, and, and stuff like that. But as y'all can see from the line test, I did a line test just to see the line quality. Is it jittery? Is it, you know, dead pixels on it? How responsive uh, the pen is and everything like that. And it's very responsive. It, it reads hard pressure and also it reads soft pressure too. And so this is amazing. This is amazing for, I paid $2.99. So for $2.99, you can get this and then you can get this USB dongle. I think I paid $30 for it. And we already have a phone, right? Depending on, and this is only for Android phones. Um, so if you have an Android phone, you can team Android. All you have to do is pick up one of these Wildcom one, get you a dongle, connect it to your phone and you're in the game and also not killing your pockets. Because if I was just getting started in digital art, this would be my go-to. This would be the cheapest route. Number one, this would be the cheapest route. You can start off with your phone, using your phone. And then also later on, when you get a laptop, when you get a computer, you can hook this thing up to a computer. So it, it, this thing can upgrade with you. I, I'm I'm sold on this. This I'm so I'm I'm sold on the Wildcom one. I, I really am. I can't stress this enough. If you're out there, if you're trying to get started with digital art, you have a you know money is a little tight or whatever. Two ninety nine. I don't know if it's still two ninety nine, but I paid two ninety nine for it. Get you a dongle, thirty dollars. Plug it in. Plug it into your phone. You got a free application like Sketchbook Pro and get the drawing. But anyway, I hope y'all got some type of value out of this video today. If you did, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, I'll holler at y'all next time. Believe that.